Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here at our Church of Fire property, uh, still working on some buildings over here. Uh, gonna be a few more months before uh, we are done, but it's uh, looking better and better. And maybe in this video, I'll show you some of the uh, room clearing that we do here at uh, our church property. But today, I'm gonna do the review of another holster, and I have uh, my personal RDS 7360. 7360 RDS from Safari Land, and uh, as you can see, this one is designed to accommodate the firearm with your favorite accessory, a flashlight most of the times, and also the red dot side, which I think that's what the RDS stands for. Now, this is a level three retention holster, it comes with ALS and SLS, uh, which is ALS is the automatic locking system which is what I have right now. And the uh, SLS is the self-locking system. Basically, it's either a strap or a cover that you kind of lock into place yourself whenever you're putting your firearm back in. Now, for the purposes, well, not for the purpose of this review, but uh, for the purpose of this review, I'm gonna <laughs> mention that I have re removed the SLS. So now, instead of the level three, it is technically a level two holster because the only thing it has is the automatic locking system which is what this button right here does okay so i'm gonna put some uh, rounds in my black 17 currently i don't have anything in it and we will do some target shooting with this holster now you probably are wondering why this holster is uh, so beat up <laughs> the reason for it is because i only had it for about three four months now but in this three four months i did uh I would say, uh, at least for me, an unusual amount of training. Yes, quite a lot of training here on this property. And uh, this holster already been through some water. It's been through some mud, through some debris. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's seen a lot of action. And uh, it's operational, 100% operational. It's very, very rugged. I mean, it's built out of there safari whatever kind of plastic that they use in order to make these holsters and this one is actually is not wrapped but you can get yourself i honestly kind of wish that i got a wrapped version but i was buying it at wholesale so i couldn't pass the deal but if you're buying it through the safari land website i recommend getting it uh cordura i think that's what it's called wrapped and those things they uh yeah they look pretty cool okay so i'm gonna put in all my eye and ear protection and I think for the purposes of this, I'm gonna put my camera here so you can actually see the target and also the holster. Let's see if it's uh, even doable. Yeah, I think it is. All right. So as you can see, I have a QLS attachment on it, which is very, very convenient. It's very rugged, it's easy to disconnect, but at the same time, you can be 99.9% .9 sure, just because, you know, there's always human factor, there's always the 0.01% that some stupid mistake is gonna happen, that I will do something stupid. Uh, but for the most part, it's very, very reliable. All you're doing is you're getting the QLS fork, and then you're getting the QLS receiver, I think that's what it's called, and you just, sliding it into place and that's it it's nice and secure in there and if you do want to disconnect it, it comes out right off and as you can see i am using the drop leg option which i do like quite a lot uh just because it's a little bit of a better draw for me honestly just a little bit of a better angle overall instead of pulling it from up here pulling it from down here just a little bit uh i think more intuitive also, as you can see, I have it a little bit on the angle, again, for exactly the same reason. These kind of things, they're very from person to person, all right? Just because I like something this way, it doesn't mean that you're gonna appreciate it or like it that way. You know, I have some guys here uh, that we train with, they swear by the level one, some of them, level one. Some guys, they say, oh, it all has to be only level three ret retention and that's it, nothing less, like it's a must have. Uh, some guys swear by carrying it on the, on the waist. And I think it's much better than carrying it on the waist because 
well not only it's kind of out of the way the, the the draw is a little bit more intuitive but also if you are sitting down you know you're, you're driving a car you're sitting down you're getting in and out of the car i think drop leg option is just better overall okay so uh let's do some shooting and uh we'll talk about a little bit uh, a little bit about als we'll talk about a little bit about sls and i'll kind of try to explain the difference between the two so Got the round in the chamber and the angle I think is good and you guys can see everything. Let's see if I can, uh... If I can miss the target. <laughs> Been a while, but uh... Terrible shooting, but Excellent holster. <laughs> Let's get back to the holster before I get too carried away. Gotta say it's fun, a lot of fun. A lot of fun to just go uh, on the range and shoot, but it's even more fun whenever you can actually practice the draw, whenever you can do practice the moves. And uh, so I'm very happy that I have the opportunity to do it here at uh, this property. So let's talk about the holster. Double check, nothing again. Take out the holster. So we have the ALS and QLS. ALS, automatic locking system. QLS, uh, SLS, sorry, QLS is a completely different thing. SLS is for retention. It's a self-locking system. So with the SLS, there are a few different options. Uh, this one, it came with the strap. So basically, it's the thumb brake, your regular. So what you need to do whenever you're grabbing, if you want to draw a gun, you unhook that SLS retention, right? quick uh, thumb break and then you press that button and then you you draw your gun like I said I've got rid of that because I think just level two with the automatic locking system is just more than enough as you can see I uh, stippled this button just a tiny little bit just so that it uh, matches my hand stippling on my Glock but also it definitely does add a little bit uh, compared to just nice and uh, slippery button it definitely helps now whenever it comes to the uh, the red dot compartment this thing right here is really just a cover you it's not gonna bother you at all it's not getting in the way I don't have you probably noticed I don't have the uh, red dot on my handgun yet does it work yes it works just perfectly it doesn't wobble nothing now you're probably wondering what if you don't have uh, the flashlight, the accessory. Uh, whenever it comes to these holsters, if you go to Safari Land website, you will see there's like option for pretty much everything that is out there. That is decent, okay? Uh, obviously for X300, easily you can find for TLR7, TLR1, there's all of those options available that you can get this holster um, spec. all right? To uh, the size of the optic, to the size of the flash flashlight that you are running now without the flashlight it still works but it's a little bit harder to get it in the right way i actually had the situation uh one of my previous trainings that we did i was running through it was move and shoot and i had to switch between my sidearm and my main arm and i didn't get the glug in the right position so yeah i'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna say it will happen after that because it's embarrassing, but that's why we train so that uh, you uh, fix your mistakes. But uh, whenever it comes to having a red dot on the gun, obviously when you do have a red dot, once you draw the gun, this compartment just opens up and stays open. So when you put your gun back in, you just lock this in place and that's it. You're good to go. So I have to say, if you are... Uh if you're more or less serious about, you know, if you if you if you get if you're in service or uh, you know if you're if you're working on your rig, you're you're making it, uh, you're upgrading it. Safari Land holsters, definitely, definitely serious business. So I'm gonna do some more uh, shooting. Actually, you know what? How about I do something interesting and I'm gonna let this drone go that I have right here, and we will do some room clearing of that right there. Alrighty, so I have the bird in the sky. You can probably hear it flying somewhere up there. 
and uh, the objective is to clear this mini building right here I means uh, corner fat straight into kind of a hallway with a window and you can see the window and then there's another side that is separated by this panel so basically my objective is to get in through here clear that corner clear the hallway get in through there place a few shots through the window and then place a few shots through the doorway okay so hopefully the angle from the drone would be uh, interesting to watch I got one round not one yeah well, I got a round in the chamber I got I think four rounds in the magazine and I have three rounds in each magazine so I'll try to practice some tactical reloading and also some emergency reloading okay I think they could have been way better, but still quite a lot of fun. So, it's uh, obviously very important to have a good holster, a quality holster that, that you know that will handle everything that you're throwing at it, whatever it is that you're doing, but it is even more so important to actually go ahead and practice with the holster that you have because you can have the best holster out in the world but if you're not practicing if you're not training with it then obviously it's uh your gear becomes pointless and it yeah obviously goes goes along with everything else uh without saying common sense but to give a little bit of value in this video <laughs> i'm gonna mention that whatever guns you have practice with them take them out on the range uh shoot them Whatever gear you have, again, take it out. Sometimes it might not be as easy to uh, work with the gear. This is still recording. I'm gonna put it down because it's just, uh, running out of juice. It might not be as easy to consistently uh, practice, you know, taking out stuff and, uh, you know, not everyone has access to you know, a place like this, for example to actually do the training but you're not gonna believe how many things that you can actually practice uh, whenever it comes to just basic stuff like emergency and speaking of the emergency reloads I need to find my magazine that, <laughs> that I left uh, out there how much stuff you can do just dry firing and, and walking through uh, your own house so if you're interested to see stuff like this uh, you know I can I, I can ask my friends uh, most of them they cannot be on camera but I can actually figure out the way to pixelate their faces so if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this on this channel whenever it comes to training whenever it comes to drills and exercises in order to uh, build up your technique and, and, and get yourself to buy I'm by no means I, I still have a lot of a lot of room to grow uh, but I have some friends that uh, have quite a lot of experience and, and they could share a few tips so let me know in the comments below if you're interested in uh, seeing that thank you very much for sticking around let me know what you think about the holster if you have any requests other requests to review gear because you know mostly I review guns on this channel but if you're interested to see gear reviews again let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to address them Thank you very much guys for sticking around. Always appreciate your time. This is Farnos from America. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video.